Hi YouTube, welcome back to Kim Possible Beauty. I know it has been a long time, but I am back slowly but surely. But today I'm gonna to start back with the Sephora VIB sale for 2024. I did pick up some items, so stay tuned and see what I got. few months i think i've been posted in three four months maybe but it's a lot been going on which hopefully i'll fill you guys in later but um right now i am ready to get into some makeup for these last few months since life been life and i haven't really been into makeup and just took a break from it haven't been buying much of anything um haven't been following much with my youtube channels just haven't been in the mood to do makeup but all of a sudden it just start coming back i started seeing some new releases and then you start getting notifications about the sephora sale so i decided to go ahead and take part in it and i just look back at all the stuff that i wanted before and then new stuff and so i just end up getting almost everything on my wish list but um yeah i'm gonna jump into it also if you're not sure about the sephora vib sale which i'm so sorry because i'm Pretty much just getting one of my packages in and as well as life still been life and so i hadn't had a chance to even go through my stuff because i did go in the store twice and i did one online two online orders because i'm waiting for one more package to come in but it's only two things so i just like i'm gonna shoot this haul but by the time you all see this video the sale is gonna be over unfortunately but the sephora vib sale happens twice a year normally in the spring and in the fall where based on your tier you can save 10 15 or 20 percent off 10 being a beauty insider 15 percent being vib and 20 percent being rouge which i'm rouge your tiers determine on pretty much how much you spend in the calendar year rouge meaning you spend more than a thousand and it takes anything any amount or no amount you can be a beauty insider so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into my haul but i did pick up two things um because i did go to places like marshall's and tj maxx during the course of these few months as opposed to going into a Ulta or sephora so i did pick up two things that i saw in um tj maxx or was this marshall's one of the two you know they're pretty much the same um i saw this precision beauty facial cleansing sponges so i decided to pick these up and these were i got it from tj maxx yes so they were 4.99 i've been having some breakouts these few months and i'm just over it so instead of doing facial cloths and things like that i wanted to try these sponges i think i would use some spa sponges like this before i can't remember if i liked them or why i stopped so i just purchased them um and they're saying extra soft facial cleansing sponges because they look like they would be exfoliating ones a little bit but since they're saying extra soft i'm hoping they are soft and next up i remember seeing these brushes in ulta for probably like 19.99 for this set and i wanted them because of the colors they were the new nudes collection and like i said i want to say they were 19.99 in ulta maybe a few months ago and i found them in tj maxx for 9.99 so if you want the, wanted the new nudes collection from Real Techniques, check your local TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they'll have it for like $9.99. And this is the Nothing But You Face Set. So these are all face brushes. A cheek brush, a contour brush, a foundation brush, a concealer brush, and um, right here is like a clear mixing palette. So I've never used one of those before, so I'll be um, excited to give that a try. But yes, I wanted this collection. I'm glad I didn't buy it when it came out because who really needs brushes? We don't, but we buy them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the box. This is the stuff that I wanted. They didn't either have my shade in store or more than likely they didn't have my shade in store or either was out of stock. So I just went and did a order online. First up, I wanted to try the Patrick Star. I keep saying it, but it's one size beauty, turn up the base, full beat liquid foundation. I wanted to give his um foundation a try. I think his first 
run with foundation. I tried it. I bought it like two or three times. and could not settle on my right shade. So I just returned it and never tried again. I feel like I may come across the same issue with this. But I think I used the shade Founder Finder on the Sephora app. So I'll give this a try. And I end up getting mine in medium dark neutral 55. So I'm hoping this will work. I'll let you all know in a mini review. Or if I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on it. So I've heard good reviews or mixed reviews on a few videos that I tried to watch to see about um, this foundation. So hopefully the foundation shade will work. If not, I have to travel 40 minutes still in years Sephora to um, swap it out. And with that, I wanted to try his concealers too. I never tried it because when I couldn't find that shade in the foundation or the skin tint that he had, I just didn't even try the concealer. But I got this concealer in the shade Dark One Neutral. So hopefully that one will work. So, I don't know. This looks like this may be like my shade shade. Sometimes I like to go a little lighter. But, um, we shall see if that'll work. Then next up, this is the reason why I did the order. Because I love Huda Beauty. So, I definitely wanted to try the Huda, Huda Beauty Easy Blur Natural Airbrush Foundation. And I my normal shade with Huda is Gingerbread 430N. So, I stuck to that and got Gingerbread 430N in the Easy Blur foundation i love huda so i know this is going to work i love that shade i use the foundation her foundation stick almost every day for work so i'm sure that will work as well and with that being said i also not only heard good things about that i heard good things about the easy blur primer these were the items that were they didn't have my shade in the store and this one was sold out so i was had to do the online order and um i had my order put in that night on the second when the sale started. So this stuff was already out of stock at my store. I did a store pickup. So yeah, glad I was able to get it. And the last thing, and I don't know what I did with my samples. I took them out. Gosh knows where I put them. I might've threw them in this big bag. I'll show you my samples when I get there. Um, but the last thing I did in the online order was, I saw that was new. I saw the Makeup of Mario came out with several new products, but I wasn't uh, interested in majority of them. I'll probably try them at a later date, but I did want to try the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Soft Setting Spray. I don't know why I've just been on a kick of wanting to try setting sprays and primers lately. So, um, yes, I gave that a try here. So I can't wait to um, see how that's going to work. And now, we are gonna get into my bag here that's pretty heavy. First up, I'm gonna pull out, cause it is at the top. I try to get one of these sampler sets every time. And this is the perfume sampler, Sephora Favorites perfume sample. You get to try 18 fragrances and then choose your favorite one. When I saw this come out, one, the first thing that caught me was the bag. Had to get it because of the bag. But um, I already knew off top, it has several good scents in here that I wanted. Some I already have. So I went on and decided to try. I have a travel size of this one and I wanted the big one. I went on and redeemed it. Let me pull it out. So I was like, ma'am, you can go ahead and pop it open and let's do my redemption right now. I wanted the Kali Vanilla Candy Rock. Yep, that's it. And this is the 1.750 mil. So I was excited. So this is definitely a good deal. And then I like to take all the other samples with me on a travel. Because like I said, I have several of these. And then I get to try out some new ones so I can take them with me when I travel. And then, of course, use this cute little makeup bag. So that was the first thing I got was that sampler set and redeemed for my fragrance. Next up, let's see where do we want to go with. I wanted to try the viral sponge that everybody's talking about, the Sephora Powder Puff. Never tried it before, and being that Sephora collection was 30% off, I went on and got one of these puffs to give it a try. Since I didn't buy any of the brushes or tools, this is the only tool that I bought. Next up, let's see, I got some skincare. Let's go ahead and do some skincare. Since I started with fragrance, I'll go ahead and do skincare. Skincare, I got three items I guess one can be considered skincare this was a new item that I saw and being that I am trying to work on this skin I and I love this brand and I use a serum from this brand and I love it it is the glow recipe blackberry retinol blemish serum it had me at blemish I have several blemishes that I am trying to work on in my skin so I wanted to try it and I am using the glow recipe well I'm a constant user 
or consistent user of the niacinamide serum from Glow Recipe and I love how it does my skin. So I'm really hoping that this blemish serum will help me from Glow Recipe. So I had to pick that up. I saw that that was a new item. So threw that in the cart, read some of the reviews and it seemed to work on a lot of other people. So I wanted to give it a try. And being like I said, that I'm trying to target some certain dark spots on my face or blemishes. I saw, um, I looked up several on Sephora and it was so many that I wanted to try, but I also like this brand. So I wanted to give this toner a try. And this is by Pharmacy, the Brighten Up 3% TXA Dark Spot Toner with Allicylic Acid and PHA. This is by Pharmacy. And I got the smaller size. This is the 1.7. I think it has a larger one. So, and you don't use a whole lot of toner. You just put a little on your cotton pad and go ahead and rub that on. So I want to give this a try with that serum to see if these would help clear up my skin. Um, I normally use the Ole Henriksen Dark Spot Toner as well as I use a serum by Good Molecules. And that Good Molecules got me right. But, um like last year when I had some issues, but it looked like it's taking longer to work. I don't know if my skin has gotten used to it because I use it almost every day, not just when I get a spot. So my skin, I think, wants to try something else. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. So hopefully that serum and this toner will help clear up my skin. I'll let you all know, keep you posted. And the last skin-ish thing I got was a Touchland Wild Watermelon Power Mist. I heard so much about these um, sanitizers, but I have so many of the Purell ones and the ones that you get from Bath & Body Works. I never thought to try these because I have so many of the others. But I was at checkout and they had some up there and I just threw it in there. Since I'm getting 20% off, I just said, you know, I just got this one. And I like how watermelon smell. So I'm gonna use this. <clears throat> Next up are primers because clearly I was on a primer kick. So I had to try it. All right, I'm back. I'm going on a primer kit. Clearly I got the Huda Beauty Blur Primer, but it was one I always wanted. It was always out of stock at my store, always out of stock online. So when I saw it came in right before the sale, I think like two days before the sale started, I saw it was in stock at my store because I clearly I had my cart ready days before. I threw it in my cart and was checking it for those two days. Like, please be in stock. Please be in stock. It went out. Actually the week before I had put it in my cart. And it went out and I was like, no, they're out of stock, out of stock. Please, you got a week to get a truck in and get some more. So two days before I checked, it was back in stock. And then um, when it was go time on November 2nd, I, th I was like, check out, pull that part. Anyway, none other than the Refi Face Primer Glow and Sculpt. I've been wanting this one since pretty much probably the last sale. And I just never got it because I tried to go through some of the primers that I had. I went through one of my milk makeup primers. I've been always found the many. And I went through the primer that I had and I went through one of my elf primers so I was like okay you can now add some more primers to your to your collection because you went through some anyway that's what I told myself but anyway I was so happy to get this face primer I think the main thing was how you put it on because it has like the roller you just roll it on your face and then the whole glow aspect this one time I like stuff to make my skin glow so I wanted to give that a try so I'm so excited can't wait to tell you guys about that and next up was another primer I like milk makeup primer I like the elf dupe of the milk makeup primer but when I was looking online and when I went in the store and this was actually um another item so I did a store pickup but I bought two items when I went in yeah, when I went in the store, I ended up seeing some more stuff. So I ended up buying like two or three more things. So yeah, anyway, when I went in store, um, I saw this and I was like, oh, I did see this on the website. Let me try it. I went over and swatched it and saw how glistening and golden and beautiful it was. I was like, yeah, going to have to go back to the counter to check out for some more items. So that's exactly what I did. So these are one of the items that after my store pickup, I ended up buying it in store was the Milk Makeup Grip and Glow Primer. I love the originals. So I'm sure I'm gonna love this as far as how it works, but it gives a pretty glow to the skin and I can't wait to wear it with makeup to see how it looks under your makeup. So those were the um, two face primers that I got. Next up, I said trying to save my bigger items towards the end. Let me pick up some dropping, dropping, dropping stuff. Okay, I got samples in here because the young lady was so nice at the store. I did get something else from the Sephora collection other than that sponge. I saw this contour stick up there. I didn't know Sephora had them. So I wanted to try it because I bronze a lot, but I don't really contour. So I wanted to try something that wasn't super expensive so I can kind of try and see if I know what I'm doing. And this is none other than the Sephora contour stick. And I end up getting the shade um, tan to deep. 
there's a number to it i cannot zero four tan to deep that's what the shade looks like so um i definitely had to keep you all posted on how this works um as far as shade matching but as far as if i'm doing it right who knows we shall see but i wanted to try it 30 percent off through it in the bag next up i have been on a search for brown blush for whatever reason and i guess to me i get scared with that because it can look muddy and or look like a bronzer but i wanted an actual blush and i look 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 on sephora's website when i was getting my list together and i saw this amazonian clay tart blush and it is their 12 hour blush in the shade confident doesn't that look pretty and chocolatey and i was like oh my goodness i wanted to try it so i'm gonna have to go ahead and open this up and see what this one looks like I always heard good things and I've had a few tart blushes but none this color and I just can't remember the formula so this is what the pack oh the little protector paper flew out there anyway this is what the pack looks like it has a mirror and this is what the shade looks like excuse the ash on my hand I'm just getting off work but I'm gonna have to swatch this I haven't swatched anything but I'm gonna I love how the Amazonian clay feels this is what the shade looks like that's pretty that is a pretty shade let me just blend it in some more here just to see how this is going to look flushed on your skin i like how it feel so this is pretty so i'm excited to try it and this is in the shade confident and shades like this is something i guess i want to wear to work so it's not so harsh so I can't wait to see. I'm not gonna put a whole lot, like I said, I don't want it to look like a bronzer, so I, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a try. But so far, I really like how it feel, and that shade is pretty. I just need to try it on my face. Next up, I have two other Huda Beauty products. I just love Huda Beauty, and I also loved her Faux Filter lip glosses. So I picked up two, she came out with three new shades, and I picked up two of them, and I'm trying hard not to get that third one. But I picked up the shade, she's flirty, and she's, fire definitely i already have about three or four of these glosses and so i like the formula when i saw these new shades i had to get them I had to get them and this one is she's flirty it's a pretty pink which i have her other pink i cannot remember what that one is called but i have to swatch this one i saw this one i've been in love with pink glosses lately smells beautiful smells like a cake and see these are pinky but it looks like it has shimmer in it it is so pretty this is she's flirty that pink right there that is so pretty i can't wait to put that on my lips with a brown liner it's gonna be pretty and by itself either way it's really pretty that she flirty and i think this is the first shade that caught my attention when i clicked on the um online and i actually had this is she's fire i had she's flirty in my cart but when i got in the store and i saw that milk makeup primer i did another walkthrough to make sure i didn't leave anything out and i went back over to the huda section i was like you know what look at let me look at the shades in person and when i saw this one too i was like yep gonna have to get this one too so this is she's fire Whoop. i'm gonna swatch that above she's flirty they both have that shimmer in it and it's not too much it is so right so this is she's fire and this is she's flirty both are beautiful oh goodness i can't wait to put these on so super excited about those two glosses and i initially was in the huda section online anyway because my girl huda i feel like come out with a new eyeshadow palette every sephora sale every sephora fall sale and i love her palettes i pretty much have all of them I think I have all of her larger palettes. And I heard that this was going to be her last larger palette. Not sure why. I guess um, a lot of people aren't as much into eyeshadows. Maybe that could be it. Not sure. But I was like, I definitely have to have it. So I'm going to get it. So that's how I stumbled across those three new glosses. This is none other than the Huda Beauty Icy Nude Palette. Now this was going to be her last one. I had to make sure I had it. I just love Huda in general. I love her palettes. So let's go into this one should have had something guys so i can get into these i'm so sorry let me try to use something here before i break a nail and we don't want that to happen now do we
And then I looked at some of the looks that people came up with this with this on this palette, and I was like, they're so beautiful. I always love her packaging. Even when she put her face on all of them, I still loved it. Okay. Of course, it came with, I had to make sure they weren't broken, guys. It came with a mirror. Her palettes do come with a mirror. And these are what the shades look like. They're cool tone, but they are beautiful. I don't mind. I like cool and warm tones. Those right there, I'll probably use a lot. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I do feel like I'll probably be more over here more. But I uh, love it. It's beautiful. I don't want to swatch it, guys. I'm going to wait till I give it some use. But I'll definitely let you all know how the... And I love the names. Poised, Aurora, High Life, Iced Out, IDGAL. <laughs> love it. So... Can't wait to give that a try. And the next two items were splurges because didn't I wanted them. I wanted them. But um, I'm going to save the one big bang. This one was a surprise. I saw it and I thought it was beautiful. I didn't think I needed it. But do we need any of this stuff? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Was none. <laughs> Eyeshadow stuff was my first love. I saw the Roxa palette and was like, yes, throw it in the bag. This is the Natasha Denona Roxa palette. Had to get this one as well. Had to. It is so pretty. So pretty. Here's the packaging. I like Natasha Denona's packaging as well. Her palette comes also with the mirror. It has a screen protector on it. But I'm still going to cover it up so I won't blind you. Look how beautiful this palette is. It still to me gives me more mauve and pinks than purple. But it is so pretty. And honestly, I wear these type of colors more so often than cool tone or more so I, I wear more mauve colors. I just like mauve. So, uh, yes, this is pretty. I already like the Natasha Denona formula, so I know I'm going to love it. But this palette is beautiful. It is beautiful. Can't wait to get some use out of that. And the last item that I got was definitely a splurge. And I've been wanting something like this for the last couple of years, but would never get it because one, price. Two, I was always scared that the shades just wasn't going to work for me. And so I would never attempt to um, get it. Just wouldn't. Even then when Ulta got this brand, I think I went in the store and swatched it. I was like, oh, okay, I probably could use this. And I'm not sure whose video I saw had this palette and it worked beautiful on their skin and we were similar in skin tone and i was like oh okay i need to give this a try this is the hourglass ambient lighten lighten edit unlock palette in the lo called lotus flower so this is my first hourglass palette it is um i, t I think i do have a blush and i know i had the concealer before i used that up i did like to enjoy that concealer but I wanted one of these palettes so bad. So 20% off, I decided to go ahead and pull the plug. Like I said, I saw that the shades will work for my skin tone. So what the heck, let's do it. And these palettes are always super pretty. Was that a little pamphlet that came in there? Something fell out, I'm not sure. They got it wrapped up nice and good. Okay, I'm gonna slide it out right here. And this is how, oh, it has the plastic on it. The package looks. I guess that's a lotus flower. It's really pretty. And I like on the back, it says it's an ambient palette. It tells you it's numbered and it tells you that number one is a highlighter, two is a blush, three is the finishing powder, four is the highlighter, five is the blush, and six is the bronzer. I like that. In case I'm not sure what each product is, I can kind of refer to that. That is beautiful. And I'm sure these shades definitely look like they're gonna work. Look at that. That is like a full face palette. I can't wait. And I'm going to say that's probably the finishing powder and that's the bronzer. And of course, blushes and highlighters. Cannot wait to use this. Cannot wait. And this color here looks like it has like a gold area in it. This one here. This is beautiful and I'm glad I finally pulled the plug and got it. Last up, I see some samples that I got with my online order here. And I have some other samples in here too. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I got, the first sample I got was a Dr. Jart Intensive Soothing Repair Cream. 
And then I got a replica from the garden spray. And I have a bag full of samples here because the young lady in the store that um, picked up my pickup order and then she helped me get my perfume when I wanted to redeem. was like, hey, I threw some samples in there for you. She threw some good samples in here. I just wanted to tell y'all all these samples that I got. I'm dropping them. That's how many it is. First up I see in here was the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, a little mini. Love this, gonna throw this in my purse. Next up I have by Tatcha. This is the, oh goodness, I am blind. This is a cleanser by Tatcha. Use that to travel. I have a Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream Mini. I have from Carter Lee. It is a serum, a instant firming serum from Carter Lee. I heard Carter Lee is a good skincare. I tried one of their serums, loved it. I have Bright Eyed Mineral Eye Cream from Supergoop. And then I have a Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier <laughs> Caviar Eye Stick. I've never tried one of those before and I got it. it. Looks like it's in the shade Rose Gold. So she put all those samples in there for me. So I'm so thankful for that. And so that is all the items um, that I have here. Only thing I have, I'm saying only thing I have come in was I wanted the Ole Henriksen, no. No, I, I want those too, but it was a lip balm that I should have got. But I really love the Summer Fridays lip balms, and I wanted the brown one that came out called Hot Cocoa. So I did go online and order that, as well as I wanted a blush from Fenty Beauty in the powder formula. I cannot think of the shade, but I did order those two items, and they won't be here to me until Thursday. So I'll probably just do a TikTok or post on Instagram about those. So follow my Instagram and TikTok. Look in the info section below and let you know about those two items or show pictures of those items. But thank you all for checking in with my channel. I'm okay. Like I said, just a lot been going on and I'll fill you guys in. Um, thank you all for watching my video. I'm so sorry I posted it late that you may miss the sale. But maybe you can check out some of these items still or look for them at the spring sale which will be here before you know it in april or put it in your christmas list and get somebody else to buy it until then please like my video please share my video please subscribe to my channel i'm definitely working on being more active on my channel and i apologize for that but you will see me again until next time bye guys love you